Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Nightmare of Decay. Now, I've heard a little bit about this game. I've heard that it's short, it's Resident Evil inspired, and it's apparently quite good. However, it is a low budget indie game. Uh, I think I bought this game on sale for like 60p or something. Now, a long time ago, we did actually play the demo. I don't really remember that. <laughs> it must have been a very long time ago. Uh, I kind of have like a couple of images flash up in my head when I think of it, but uh, yeah, uh, apparently it's good fun. So lots of little nods and things to the greats, mainly Resident Evil. Um, let's go, shall we? New game. We're going to go normal. And we're going to check out State of Decay. Is not, not, is not, the, not, 23-year-old Judith Glasgow was reported missing yesterday evening. She is described as Caucasian, 5 feet 7 inches tall, with a slim build and long brown hair. Is not, the, the, is she was the, last not, seen is. entering her apartment after being escorted home by friends following a late night out clubbing. Police searched her apartment and interviewed neighbours, but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Close friends and relatives say that Glasgow had been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations the day, in the days before she went missing. It is unknown if these had anything to do with her disappearance. Glasgow is the latest in an alarming number of recent disappearances that have been that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there have been over 10 missing people reported in just the past week. Oh my. Is, is the, not, the, the, Police is have not, been unable to find not, any new leads in their investigation of the disappearances and implore anybody with information to call the missing persons investigations unit at... <gasps> you turn off the TV, you've been having terrible nightmares recently and watching news about the disappearances is just going to make them worse. It's getting late and you're feeling pretty tired. You should eat dinner and take a shower before going to bed. You're pretty sure that there was a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge. Well, alright. First of all, graphically, I think this game is actually really, really nice. Uh, oh, we've got a little fine indicator down there. We have a little inventory screen, which is cool. I can use this to heat up food. Well, I mean, yeah. Yes, you probably can. Let's have a little look around, see if we can't find anything. Um, oh. Ah, looks like we've been playing something. So we can use record books to save. All right. Seems to be very bright outside, apparently. Let's use the computer. I'm too tired to play games right now. Bullshit. Nobody is ever too tired. Yeah, considering this window is like pitch black. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Let's just have a little look in the refrigerator. <laughs> there is a single slice of pepperoni and some bananas, some eggs. Lovely. Access your inventory. Hover. Oh. Okay. How does that work? Right mouse. And then left click. That's a cool little tutorial. Pepperoni pizza. Mm-mm. 420. That's, I was going to say, that's a long time to heat up a slice of pizza. Mm-mm, pizza was pretty good. Now I should take a shower before going to bed. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, right, well. The toilet's nice and clean. I'm loving these graphics, guys. The game looks sweet. I'm guessing we were either naked or... Well, all clean. Let's go to bed. Again. 
seems reasonable. Should we turn the computer off? Game saved. Aight. How does one get to bed? I I have no idea how we get into bed. Is this our bed? Turn the light on. Have we bugged? Are we supposed to be able to have a little bit of a sleepy? Oh. As soon as you turn off the TV, you suddenly notice the, in the reflection of the TV a screen that there's someone standing behind your sofa. Oh, hey, friend. You turn around and see a large man staring at you with a crazy smile on his face. His hoarse breathing echoes throughout the room. And there is a murdered woman's head in his hand. The man is holding the decapitated head of a woman. Thoughts of the recent disappearances come to mind, and a cold chill runs up your spine. In the next moment, the man fades away just as suddenly as he appeared. You must be tired if you thought you are starting to hallucinate, and maybe eating that pizza before going to bed was not the best of ideas. Good night's sleep should help you refresh your mind. You hope that you don't have another nightmare tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, I'm just saying, cheese dreams are a thing, all right? Now we can sleep. Ah, much better. Looks cosy. Humble, but cosy. Welcome to Nightmare of Decay. Oh, that's bad. Although, not that bad. I mean, I guess it's bad enough. They live again. Well. I woke up in that coffin. How did I even get here? Uh, I don't know. That is a very good question. Uh, well, I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore. Hello? Oh, I remember this bit. There's a cat. Can the cat talk to us or something? I'm sure, the you see a cat sitting on the railing at the top of the stairs. It stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. Hello, stranger. The cat greets you, and strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. Looks like the nightmare has claimed yet another victim. Many have been brought here against their oh, uh, their will, only to meet a terrible end one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to appraise you of your worth. It seems unimpressed. I wonder how long you'll be able to survive for. Not long, if I have to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you. Or maybe you'll go insane and end yourself. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, stranger. Try not to die too fast. Thanks, cat. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, they always said that um, black cats are bad luck. Alright, so we need a key. Guess... Yep, gate won't budge. Looks like I need to find another way out of this place. So I don't know if that severed woman's head that um, the gentleman was holding was Glasgow. Alright, well, I mean, you know, things are starting to look up. We got a survival knife. Right mouse equip. A knife used for survival during emergency situations can be utilized as a self-defense weapon. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have some kind of psychokinesis. Well, hello, all right, chief. Oh, is it 
gun and a key. <laughs> obvious reference is obvious. Come on, then. Let's keep having you. Although, <coughs> didn't go too well. The mutilated body of a man. He's been partially eaten. He's not a shadow of his former self, then. Maniki and a pistol. Okay. Door is stuck and won't budge. Fifteen rounds in the pistol. That knife seems questionable at best. So, let's go with the pistol. Alright. We're already on caution health, which, you know, after the first enemy is a bit concerning. I really like the way this game looks. I really do. And the, I guess the key items are just used. Oh, obvious reference is obvious. A fresh mansion to explore, guys. Hold left shift whilst moving forwards to sprint. Yeah. Some ammo? Sure, we'll drop a save. Now, where should we go? Should we go upstairs or, well... A very common looking picture. Oh, the Resident Evil vibes are pretty strong. I mean, technically, you know, any kind of generic mansion would fill that thing. Tear stained note added. Press N to read. William has been acting strangely ever since we moved into this manor. He has been spending all of his time in the basement doing God knows what. I've tried asking him about it, but he becomes angry and confrontational. I fear we may be drifting apart. I hate this place. We never should have come here. Eh, uh, maybe not. The lock is simple. Probably unlock it with a lockpick. Okay. Well, we shall have a look for a lockpick then. Do we have like a map or anything? We do! And it's a fine one. Excellent. What is this? Oh. That looks like a lockpick. Ah, pellet gun. Right. Okay. Try to get a high score as possible within the allotted time. Score points by hitting red targets. Time can be extended by hitting the blue target. Prizes are unlocked for reaching various score amounts. Ooh, how cool is this? How many pellets do we have? Well, I don't know. How about that? Careful now. Looks like ammo is pretty generous. Although, you do have to wait for your. Oh, god damn it. Sight. Oh my god, this is way harder than it looks. Let's just try and get there. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, this is definitely going to take... Oh, nice. A bit more. Practice than I thought. Son of a bitch. Not quite as challenging as Resident Evil 4 Remake. Man, that is way harder than you would think. Alright, well, we've got... How much do we need? So we need 60 to get that. Okay. Okay. 
I think there's something else going on with those blue ones. You seem deceptively difficult. Okay, we're doing okay so far. There we go. It's all about getting the knack. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Because in theory, 60 points shouldn't be that challenging. We're almost there, actually. Do you want to try and get a few fives? There we go. Yeah, we're spending more time actually trying to get the time target than actually we're getting from the time target. Which is a little bit arse. Come on, baby. Maybe if we could reload this thing quicker. Oof. I'll take it. Oh, son of a bitch. You know what? Not too bad. So 120 for that. Right, I'm going to pause this, guys. And I'm going to get in the zone. I think we've done it, lads. This was actually really freaking hard. Took a while to find like a decent kind of area to shoot from. I think we've only got to get 150 points. Oof. So whether there's any little Brucey bonuses, we get more than that. Hey, 201. All right. So we've got some shotgun shells. And we've got a lockpick. And I guess we've got the pellet gun to keep. No idea if the pellet gun's any good, but whatever. I guess we're going to find out together. We have got a lockpick. Haven't we? <coughs> there we go. Hey. Dynamite. Alright. We'll have some dynamite. For sure. Right, let's go save it. Because that took a incredible amount of time. Which I've spared you guys of. And I think I've given myself uh, RSI. Ah, uh, a spade key. Would you look at that? They're not even trying. Uh, I don't know if this pellet gun like does actual damage to enemies. One would like to assume. Let me adjust my chair. Oh, because I'm giving myself like I would say wanker's cramp, but you know. Okay. Anything in here? Anything that we can pick up? A dining room. A dining room with a candle that's been knocked over. An unfortunate man. Well, I don't know. Is that an unfortunate man? Or is that just a man that's asleep? Who knows? Ooh. Coin-shaped indents. There are a number of coin-shaped indents above the fireplace. An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labour, falls asleep under the shade of a tree, while his loyal dog watches over him. Alright. Ooh! Really? Well, how about that? It's worth noting. Was there, like, other things to shoot in the other rooms? 
that's rather cool. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know if there's anything else we can shoot up. So this pellet gun has like unlimited ammo. But as I've said, I'm going to assume it's extraordinarily weak. But I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later. <sighs> what do we have? So we need to find some coins. Now if we look at our map. Oh, look at that. Coin shape indents. Shooting gallery. How cool is this map? Right. Other lesser games could, um, you know... Could take some uh, inspiration from this. Empty jar. Ah. An empty beaker. Maybe I could fill it with something. Right. Recipe for creating corrosive acid. So we need, uh, so access some of the areas of the manor has been obstructed by a strange fleshy growth. Lord William has tasked me with finding a solution to this issue. I have discovered that a mixture containing equal amounts of uh, lanium or lanoleum. Uh, okay, so chemicals to create corrosive acid can dissolve the fleshy growth and regain access to previously obstructed areas. Unless my cat tries to obstruct me. Alright. So. Acids. So I guess we can put the empty jar in there. Cool. I like the puzzles, the, the systems and things. They look pretty cool. Ah, flesh. Oh, I hear a zombie. A zombie. Excellent. So it looks like something was cooking up some dinner. Looks like burgers, possibly steak. The platform is stuck in the shaft. Maybe I can dislodge it from above. That's locked. Probably the waiter in there. Dumbwaiter memo. The damn dumbwaiter is broken again. And I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor. And the platform got stuck in the shaft on the way up. Now no one can get to the pantry until the stupid lift is fixed. Lord William is going to be furious. Maybe dropping something heavy into the shaft from the second floor will be enough to dislodge it. All righty then. Sure, we can figure something out. Hey! Oh, we've got a couple of zombies. Now, I'm guessing this is rather ineffective. Does seem to be that way. Come on. I mean, to be fair, you know, kind of. I'd be a little bit cheating if it wasn't. Alright, fine. Oh, hi. So, note to self. Going into our inventory. Does actually... Ooh. Wow. They're quite tough. <gasps> oh, I like the reloading animation. That was pretty sweet. Gunplay's pretty solid. That is fun. They've got a hell of a lunge on them, though. Oh, look how smooth that animation is. <gasps> the brass rolling around on the floor. Oh, guys, I like this. This is pretty fucking sweet. So we've got a health drink. Let's use a health drink, shall we? And how we use health drinks. Ah, Q. Alright. Brings us back up to fine. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm a fan. Ah, so this just brings us back through the other... So we've gone full circle. We haven't tried these doors. I'm guessing that's going to lead up. So there's a lot to explore this side. Let's go back through. Bodies disappear. That's standard. Wouldn't mind a little save spot. Just because we've done, you know, a somewhat decent amount of progress now. Uh, kind of feels more Resident Evil than Resident Evil 7. Ah, oh, there's zombies outside. Of course there is. What else would be outside? Let's be honest. Oh, you sweet, sexy son of a bitch. And we... Oh, hello. Hello. Uh... You know... Probably don't need to worry about these guys. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh. Play them at their own game. So that was the shotgun room. It's full of zombies. Need to try and remember that. What was in here? Oh. Hello now. Got a big old night room. Ah, with some supplies on the floor. Not getting the feeling that supplies are especially rare. Unless this is like an early uh, false sense of security. Present the king with his golden crown and defeat his loyal guards to open the way forwards. Uh, yeah, maybe later. Let's leave him where he is for now. Yeah, this is a fucking great game so far. It's a shotgun room that we will never go in again. There's a couple of zombies ahead. Oh, evening. Go out there, chief. Wakey, wakey. There you go. Gun is nice and accurate. As long as you let it um, zoom in, anyway. Gun is very accurate. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, yep, yeah, more bullets. More bullets than we used. As long as we're profiting. Happy with that. Ooh, just what the doctor ordered. A save room. Uh, yeah, we're on like half an hour here, guys. So... I'm going to drop a save. I'm really bloody enjoying this. This is fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure what else to expect, but we're going to keep going, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.